Hi, I'm Phil, and today we're going to continue projects on Raspberry Pi. Now, while it's an update, I'm actually going to have to go back to older versions, and it shows you the importance that uh, not everything will work on the latest version of uh, Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to look at robot projects, and in particular, rovers. So why would you go for a um, more complicated operating system um, like the Raspberry Pi, Debian, um, when you can put robots on much simpler um, microcontrollers? Well, um, there's a couple of reasons. One is we can get advanced multitasking. Uh, we can get real-time operating systems working. And uh, there are additional services available, like file services, communications, yeah. AI tools. And we have a choice of languages like Python, C++. So they're all the advantages. The disadvantages are that it's much more complex. And often there's very poor version control. So a company might bring out a, uh, a Rover kit for the Raspberry Pi, um, and it will only be for one version of the operating system. And um, there's no simple IDE for programming. You've got to go through quite a number of steps just to even get Python and the Python libraries for the hat that you're um, working on. And there's very limited hardware uh, support and almost no competition in this area. There's a couple, but not that many. So uh, the one we're going to have a look at is using uh, the uh, build hat from the Raspberry Pi Corporation. And we'll have a look at um, what it looks like. This is my desktop arrangement. And I couldn't get this working on Raspberry Pi 4 or Raspberry Pi 5. And I had to go back to the original image supplied by uh, Waveshare for their um, me build car. And um, if we can, can have a look at what it looks like on the desktop. Here we go. It's, um, there's my rover. So it's got um, a couple of layers there, and I'm using Lego uh, baseboards to connect everything. So we've got a camera on the uh, Raspberry Pi computer, and um, you can see that here. I've, on the uh, lower left, I've got a um, accelerometer and gyro combination as part of the MPU 6050. In the middle layer, we can put our battery. And on the top layer, we can put the uh, Raspberry Pi build hat. And that's the one that controls the motors. Here's our MPU 6050. And uh, that's connected to the um, I to C port on the GPIO pins. And there's our battery ready to go. Everything's Lego mounted, including the uh, case for the Raspberry Pi. And the camera is also mounted on that. So let's have a look at the hardware components for that. So um, I did try the Model 5, 4. And the one that I did get to work was the Model 3. And uh, it's important to keep um, track of which version of the operating system. And I had to go back a couple of versions. It would only work on Buster, which is quite a few years old now. And it certainly didn't work on the latest ones. And uh, part of that was the uh, very poor documentation from the Raspberry Pi Foundation on how to install the um, build hat uh, libraries and their Python libraries. So I'm going to use Lego Technique Media Motors and uh, they come part of the Waveshare kit. Here's my battery and these are the Lego components and the crow tail for our accelerometer and gyro. We need um, Grove cables and the connections look like this. So we go to the top. Here's our gyro connection uh, to the build hat. And uh, we use the I to C port for the uh, communications there. 
And um, if we look at how it fits onto the build hat, here we've got the motors on the left, and on top we've got our um, MPU 6050. And that's our hardware arrangement. Installation-wise, um, I tried installing the build hat. So you can see that it um, didn't have much success uh, going about it step by step. So I had to actually just use the image supplied by WaveShare. So look at uh, the testing. Uh, not a lot of success, but a bit of success on this one. So um, you can have a look at um, what I'm doing. There's the hardware and uh, the library. So I'm trying out these various commands here. So what we might do is um, go across and um, execute them. So I'm going to I'm going to copy this one. Uh, we'll get rid of that. We might just go across because we would have had these already running on our. Um, Here's our um, Raspberry Pi operating system, Buster. And what I'm going to do is bring up a terminal. It's uh, copying at the moment. But while we're copying, we might actually uh, try out some of the commands. So there's the speed control. And I'll execute that. And our motors are working at the moment. So uh, it's working on the uh, Raspberry Pi. And uh, we've just interrupted that. We can also get it going on Node-RED. So we're starting up Node-RED. And we'll go across to the Chrome browser. Uh, we'll just fire that up again, reload it. And the program to uh, turn on motors A and B, uh, we just press this series of commands and we've got the motors working. And if you turn them off, we've just turned those off. And we can actually uh, have a look at a few other commands over here. We'll clear these. And um, what we're doing is uh, communicating with the serial port from the Raspberry Pi to the build hat. So if I want help, I just press help and I get all the help streaming down on the debug port. So we'll just remove all that and list the devices. So you can see the devices that are connected are the motors. So P1, P2, P3, and P3 and P0. And we just get rid of those. And we can start off with a triangle and turn off our motors. So uh, all of that is sending commands to the serial port on um, uh, th this uh, UART parameter. Okay, so we'll just go back to our uh, mind map. So the other testing I had a look at was uh, combining the build hat with the MPU 6050. So we might have a look at that one. So we just open it up. And the objective was to provide sensors uh, for the robot using the MPU 6050. And I want to design it not only for uh, Python, but also for Node-RED. So that should go down here. Hardware-wise, we're using Model 3, the build hat, and the um, MPU 6050. And our connections are these ones over here. So that's how it's all connected to together. And software, uh, we've got, um, uh, first thing to do is to uh, make sure you know the operating system you're working with. And uh, I've registered all the uh, SD cards and I can always come back to it if I want to. I want to check the I2C port and I do get a reading uh, for the... Um, uh, the 68. 68 is um, hexadecimal, and um, that is where our uh, MPU 6050 is located. So let's have a look at the Python 
uh, having a look at the code for that, you can have a quick look. Here's our um, commands. And uh, there's a simple example. This one here is um, the one that I'm mainly using for testing. So we'll um, just have a look at the code for that. So here's our uh, uh, accelerometer and uh, gyro, gyro readings. And we're sending those off to our um, serial terminal on the um, Raspberry Pi. And node red, we'll have a look at that one. This is our node. And uh, we're using Python within node red to send the results to the debug port. Okay, so we might have a look at the results here. Uh, we did provide sensors. Um, it did corrupt when I tried to put um, the SenseHat software. It corrupted um, my um, software for the build hat. Um, and I've designed it for both uh, Node Red and also for uh, Python. Okay, so um, uh, some of the issues, we might have a look at some of those. I think overall, I'm quite disappointed with the um, build hat. Uh, the Python installation documentation from the Raspberry Pi Foundation is quite confusing and it's obsolete and it um, brings in instructions which are quite um, obscure. Okay, the um, build hat on Raspberry Pi is not reliable. Uh, I couldn't get it running on the more recent operating systems. Uh, near the, um, and it certainly couldn't work on the um, bullseye or bookworm. And uh, the competition, there's not much competition in this area. You'll find it um, much better range is available. Uh, when you look at the um, simpler uh, microcontrollers like Microbit or the ESP32. And there are plenty of robot kits available using the Arduino Uno. Okay, so um, I'm going to look at um, an alternative platform. And the one that's most promising is the, is the uh, Yaha Boom micro micros ros dash pi five okay so here are some of my references uh, plenty from the uh, raspberry pi foundation the me car build a uh, and a couple of um platforms available for raspberry pi five rovers okay so uh Stay tuned and I'll give you a desktop demonstration. Here we have the uh, Raspberry Pi Rover and it's using a hat from the Raspberry Pi Foundation called the um, Build Hat. So you can see there are four ports on here. One, two, three, four. And the hat attaches to the top of a Raspberry Pi. Now I can only get this working on Raspberry Pi Model 3. Uh, it's actually uh, quite an old one now, but um, it does work. And I'm using the um, image for the operating system from WaveShare. So um, to actually look at the components, we've got a Raspberry Pi uh, with a camera and um, it's all powered with a battery. So if you look at the middle uh, layer, it's used to um, house and support the battery. And looking at um, the top, we've got the hat and connected to the uh, GPIO pins, we've got, we're utilizing the I to C bus and that's going into a, um, an accelerometer, combined accelerometer and gyroscope, the MPU 6050. So uh, that'll be attached to the top of the board. But notice how um, the whole thing 
is quite easily constructed and uh, students could uh, build this within about five minutes or so. And um, that's the construction of the rover, a Raspberry Pi robot. In this test, we're going to uh, use the MPU 6050, which is a um, Electro accelerometer and gyro and it's mounted on a, uh, a Lego uh, base and we've got one over here connected to the I to C port on our Raspberry Pi so our Raspberry Pi 3 is on the bottom layer and on top we've got a build hat but I'm only going to demonstrate um, the operation of the um, MPU 6050 so if we go to um, node red over here on the screen and have a look at the debug port I'm going to press and activate uh, a Python function I'll have a look at that Python function here it is here so you can see that I'm um, collecting data on the uh, three axis for acceleration and three axis for the uh, gyro and also the temperature so um, we then report that uh, to our debug port just over here so to activate it we go to the flow and I just uh, trigger that and when I trigger it I've got uh, a response over here on my debug port so you can see the acceleration and the gyro and we've even got temperature 18 Point four degrees right on top there and that's our MPU 6050 here is our uh, Raspberry Pi rover ready for a desktop test so we have the Raspberry Pi model 3 on the bottom layer on the top we've got a Raspberry Pi build hat and uh, it's connected to these motors these um, medium size motors and uh, what we're going to do is um, use node red so here's node red ready to do a um, test for us so um, we'll just clear that so we've got the debug port over here and I've just cleared that and uh, to turn on the motors uh, we can have a look at the functions this one here has a payload on so it's actually going to send a message uh, to our motor uh, port 1 and it's going to turn the motor on and it then sends that on the serial port uh, to the uh, build hat so there's a serial protocol that's um, picking up on this uh, chain from motor A to motor B and that's for turning it on and uh, we do a similar thing to turn it off but we uh, give a payload of off so uh, let's run it and see what happens. So we'll turn the first one on. And um, we're getting some messages. And over here we've got our um, motor is now working. And to uh, turn it off, go back and we press the um, off button. And we've got it off. The motor's now off. So, so that's motor control of our Raspberry Pi Rover using the build hat.